Yesterday, dear ones, I wasn't able to draw a card. Last night, I'm not sure if Great Spirit offered me a choice to be taken home or to stay here. I remember clearly what I dreamt. And the choice to just remain where I was and quietly fall asleep for good or make some effort. To come up, back up on the surface and stay around. And I remember about three or four times in a row, I had to consciously breathe. Otherwise, I probably would have traveled home. So I decided to stay here. After that, an image came into my head that I have had unfolding after I've worked for a client who wishes so much to have a baby. And this is the image I would like to share with you today. It's not out of the card deck. And after I've painted this image, I thought I'm not finished yet. I have to keep on working on it. And this is more than half a year now. I kept coming back to this soul freeing image. And it was like, beware of touching this image any further. I was deeply touched on what is on this image. And it is, it was so strong to go onto the canvas and let this unfold. For her, but for us all, the new baby, the new is being planted within us in every moment. And we can let it unfold if we wish. And as I write this now, I understand why this image was showing before my inner eyes when I awoke and came back, decided to stick around some more. And this shows something else too. At the moment, we're offered so many choices that we have to take, that we have to take. Be aware. Our planet and all her inhabitants travel through a huge shift at the moment. But you must be aware of something the choice is ours. We must make very important choices at the moment. I would like to give you some. What do I choose? What kind of thoughts do I choose 
to have? What goals do I want to reach? What kind of commitments or radical new paths am I willing to walk? What kind of radical changes am I willing to make? What kind of hassle am I willing to walk through? Dear ones, we must make these choices. We must hold on together and we must walk this path. The more we can release, the more we are willing to release the more we are willing to radically change. We cannot travel into the new with old behaviors and we must watch our behaviors and change them. It has a significant impact on what is really going to happen within this shift. It's going to be more severe or less. This is how it is, dear ones. We must walk our path in a completely new way. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you to make your changes. All I offer is to support this shift. You can have a one-by-one session. You can join in with our soul freeing health and sound. You can join in with the release of the ancestral intertwinings. You can join in to learn about the crystalline heart space. You can join in into our circle that we are starting next year. It all is there to support us to make these shifts. And I keep the prices low and as low as I can so everybody is able to join in. Change your thought about we don't have any impact. Change your thought to we have an impact. Change your action to we have an impact. Change your laying back or all your activities that bring you away from changing something. Dear ones, every single soul counts. Be aware of that. We're a couple of, mo- of months away of, from a huge shift. And it's upon us how it is going to be afterwards. It is upon us. Our consciousness has a huge influence on our earth shifts, but also to our solar system, but also to the intergalactic. So dear ones, put on your shoes and walk. This is serious. With much love. Shining light. And deep gratitude. For who you are. And for making your steps. Your white feather. <laughs>